Hi, I'm Lisa Curcio, and I would love to welcome you here to Lisa's Stamp Studio. Today is Monday, June 13th. The year is 2022, and we are streaming live right here on YouTube. Whether this is your first time visiting my channel or you're coming back, I'm so glad that you're here. It's a privilege to have you with me. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make an expanded accordion funfold card. Now, while the name is long, the card is super duper easy. So you're not going to walk away at any point because you're going to miss the whole thing. Tonight's card is going to have a Father's Day theme because that's coming up this week. But I've got numerous other cards to share with you with different themes. The great thing about this fun fold is you can make it whatever you want. And for those of you that have already started your holiday cards, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe we're already planning that in June. This is a great one for that as well. It's a great card to use up those designer series paper scraps. Now, a few housekeeping items before we get started. First, you're not gonna to wanna to miss the free project sheet. I have numerous samples to share with you and the card I'm demonstrating as well as several other samples, including pictures, cutting dimensions, and all the supplies for those cards are going to be in that project sheet. You're gonna find it down in the video description below when tonight's live stream is over. If you are here for the live chat, it's gonna be off to the side so that you can download it right away towards, oh, about middle three quarters of the way through. Before we go, I wanna make sure that you know that we love to chat and interact with you, but in order to do so, you're going to need to log into your YouTube account, which requires your Gmail address because we'd love to hear your feedback. And then finally, I wanna make sure that you know all about Gina Curcio Holly. Those of you here in the live chat or watching the replay, you'll see Gina's name in blue off to the side. She is moderating tonight. She is the sales director and marketing director here at Lisa Stamp Studio and an avid paper crafter. So she is more than capable of answering your questions because it's impossible for me to keep up with them during the live stream. So that's why Gina is here. Now, one other thing I want to talk to you about, especially if this is your first time visiting. Oops, I must have changed screens. Let's just skip right ahead. Okay, let's just go here. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't give me a button. That's for sure, especially during the live stream. I want to make sure that you know all about Party with the Stamp Studio. It is coming up. It is an in-person event on Saturday, August 13th here in Florida. Now, whether you want to travel to see us or you are local, we would love to have you. We've got people coming from all over the country and so many of you have already registered. It is a four hour event and it is $30. And you can add on two make and take projects for a simple $5 fee. We're gonna have lunch and everyone from the Stamp Studio is going to be there. We would love to meet you. Head over to our website where you can scroll through all the details and pre-purchase, yes, merchandise that you can pick up at the event as well. All right, let's back things up a little bit and let's get over the stamp table. All right, like I said, you can't trust me with buttons. <laughs> Okay, I always said I can stamp, but I'm not good in the technical area. So this project is really quite fun, and I think you're going to love this. You're going to be able to make it from one sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. So 8.5 by 11, and you can see that I've pre-cut these for you here. This is the 8.5, and, and of course this is the 11. You'll have a little bit of scrap left over, but we all love scrap. So let's go ahead and let's do the scoring. And you're gonna love this because it's easy. I love easy score marks. I'm gonna be using my paper trimmer. All the products that I'm using can be found in my online store. This trimmer has a clear cutting guide, which is a champ, you are going to love it. There is both a scoring and a cutting blade that stay right here on the track and they navigate up and down out of the way so you don't even have to remove them. It's fantastic. So with the larger piece, this is five and a half by 11. Remember that project sheet down below is gonna include all the cutting and scoring dimensions, including the layers for you. That first score line is gonna be at one and three quarters. And I don't do anything straight. So that ledge right here at the top is a lifesaver. So there's one here at the top and there's also one at the bottom, depending on where you like to score or cut at the top or bottom. So at one and then three quarters, we are going to score. And then I'm gonna scoot over to three and a half inches and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And then five and a quarter, which is here, and we are going to score again. Now there is one more. 
And this is the best part of this trimmer. Look at that extendable arm, just goes past 17 inches. And this last score line is gonna be at seven inches. So I'm gonna line that up here and then we are going to score. That's it. Now, there is one more score line and it's easy. It's gonna be on that small piece I talked to you about. This is three inches by six inches and we are just gonna score that in half at the three inch mark. So I'm just gonna line that up and then we're gonna score. That's the hardest part of this entire card. The rest is super easy. Now let's talk about the folding. Now, whether you decide to put your papers on now while it's flat is entirely up to you. I am going to crease on them during the live stream because I know it's hard to see it on camera. So the little one obviously is gonna go in half and I'll go over with my bone folder. Gotta love the bone folder. It's a must for fun fold cards. Now there are a series of score lines here, which are gonna be really difficult for you to see on camera, but I want you to take the one that's the furthest towards the center and I want you to crease inside. All right, now you know the word accordion came in for a reason because these are just gonna go back and forth on top of each other, just like an accordion fold would. And there are several of them, which is one reason why this fold is so fun. Now you might be looking at this thinking, where are you gonna put your words? How's that not gonna be visible? And how are you gonna attach this? This is not gonna be intuitive. It's not gonna go the way you think. So hang with me. And I'm gonna put that off to the side because we're gonna work on some of the pieces that we're going to need. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of designer series paper and I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Something I normally don't do, I'm gonna stamp on it. And I wanna give this to you as a tip. If you have simple designer series paper, that has a simple color palette, don't forget that you can actually stamp right on top of it. Now I'm gonna be using black memento ink for this. And for the cover of my um, card, I'm gonna be using this greeting that says, to the man who does everything. Now this card is for Bob the Builder, my husband, that's his nickname, because he truly can fix and build anything. But I've got to show you where this is coming from because this has been incredibly popular. If you're anything like me and you love to paper craft, you might like pretty things, which means you love the flowers and the butterflies and the landscapes. But masculine cards have always been a struggle for me because I like the girly things. So he's all that is a bundle. It can be bought separately, but quite frankly, you're gonna want these dies that cut out these shapes just to just make life so, so easy. Masculine images, but the best part about this is not just this. There's an entire suite of products that includes these. Now these are the designer series papers and I wanna show them to you really, really quickly. I am in love with the nostalgic images on here. And I think sometimes when we see them on the online store or even in the catalog, if you have one, they don't do it justice. And Stampin' Up! is an award-winning designer series paper they design the most gorgeous papers, absolutely, but they're double-sided, so you have lots of options. Some of these papers can be used outside of the theme for anything, and that's exactly where I got this one from. So don't overlook this entire suite. There is an embellishment that goes with it, and I'm going to share that with you as well, but it gets better with this designer series paper, and I'm going to show that to you in just a moment. So I'm gonna bring in my pierce mat. Now you might be wondering why I'm gonna be using this and that's because I have arthritic hands. And if you've been here before, you know that. I struggle with osteoarthritis in my basal joints, which makes pushing and squeezing this way really difficult for me. If you suffer from the same thing or you have a hard time getting out a really big image, clearly the pierce mat is gonna be your best friend. It is a one-time buy, you are never gonna need it again and it's a game changer. So let's go ahead and let's open up that black memento ink and I'm gonna turn it to kind of make it easier for my stamp and I'm gonna travel and ink that up. I always check, you do not want ink around the perimeter of the rubber, otherwise that's gonna transfer to your paper, right? So I'm gonna put that right smack dab here in the middle, lots of firm, even pressure. So I'm just pressing out the design, take your time. And that pierce mat is helping from the bottom up. And I wanna show this to you. Is this not perfect or what? It looks like it's been printed versus stamped. And this is gonna make all the difference in the world. So I'm gonna clean that stamp just off camera. I'm gonna put this to the side because while I have that ink out, we might as well go and work what's gonna be on the inside. Now this does not go on the inside of the card because I know that's what you're thinking. 
That's too easy, right? And that's just too intuitive. Here is that happy Father's Day that's included in that stamp set. There are plenty of other greetings for other occasions, but this one is for Bob the Builder. So we're gonna go ahead and ink this one up. Again, I'm checking because you know, we all make that mistake of rocking and I'm looking and we are gonna stamp that here. Again, that pierce mat is helping those old hands of mine and we've got a perfect image every single time. This is going to change all of your stamping, especially with solid images. I'm moving that off to the side and I'm gonna put these pieces, one of these pieces together right now onto my card. Now, unlike what you might think, it opens like this. Mm -mm. Today, it's gonna to be backwards, which means the crease is gonna be on the right and it's gonna to open to the left. To make it easy for yourself, go ahead and open it up so that it's flat. That score line is gonna be very prevalent. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm using my silicone craft sheet. I can't do anything without this thing. Adhesive, liquid glue, and hot glue will not stick to it, which means I'm gonna keep my work surface sticky free. On this side of the crease, I am just looking to center this. And all of those um, of you out there that are avid paper crafters and you like layers, you can add another layer to this as well. Now, do you see this? I know some of you have seen this. My adhesive comes out in tabs and I got a little too excited. So what I usually do is I take my take your pick tool and I can kind of push it right back inside and nobody is gonna know, <laughs> okay? Now this next panel, is gonna be another piece of designer series paper and it's coming all from the same package. And this is what I love about coordinating papers because it does all the work for you. So all I have to do is cut the pieces and stick them on and this one is gonna go here. Now that we have the little expanding panel here ready, let's go over to the card base itself. So you'll see that we have that accordion fold and you're gonna notice one, two, three, and four panels. You can decorate all four. You can skip and do every other one. You can emboss them. I mean, you could do whatever you want. I opted only to do three, and I'm gonna show you why. So I cut the designer series paper ahead of time. Okay, this is a great project for those scraps. So let's go ahead and flip those over, and we're gonna add some adhesives to the back. Now, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and you are interested in receiving a catalog, so notice how I turn that? That's going to make it easier for me. The only trick is you not need to make sure that you're paying attention and they're all going in the same direction if they have a directional paper. I would love to send you a catalog. You can request one over on my website at lisastampstudio.com under catalog. You'll be able to request that there. Lots of great products in the new annual catalog and believe it or not that next mini catalog is ready to come out on July 1st. You're not going to want to miss that because if you're anything like me, you love your holiday cards as well. And there's some really great fall projects. Now I'm gonna put the next one here as well. And again, cognizant of my direction. When you're over on my website, you're gonna be able to click on rewards and see all of my exclusive and generous rewards as well. Okay, so far so good. Now here, keep in mind, it's gonna be visible. So I decided to make this pretty as well. <laughs> yep, another piece of designer series paper. Don't you love a good package of paper? Again, double-sided. This is gonna be my wrong side for tonight. So I'm gonna work in those corners and that's my fingers and hands that are very sore today. It's not the adhesive, that's just Lisa. And I'm just gonna make sure that that tab that I thought I stuck out somewhere is not sticking out. And then this is going to go here. Like I said, super simple card. All right, do you recall this piece? Well, I thought it was kind of plain. So this is the next thing I wanted to show you and I'm super excited about this. Do you remember we just talked about these really pretty designer series papers? Well, there's two special things inside that package of paper and it's two 12 by 12 sheets of colored die cut pieces. Look at this. There is a theme here for everything. And I just punched them all out. I mean, they're perforated, it was super easy. And I stuck them in a cellophane bag and I keep it with my designer series paper. Any theme you could think of for a guy is here. We've got old vans, we got barbecues, we have beers, we have hunting, you name it, it's here. It's gonna make quick and simple cards. Now you'll be able to find these over in my online store at lisastampstudio.com under shop. But ahead of time, I pulled out this one, this little bow tie, that little nostalgic bow tie. 
What I decided to do with this was to add it to here. Now, when I flip this over, you're gonna be able to see that's pretty tiny, right? So I'm gonna bring in my mini dimensionals and I love to use my take your pick tool for this because that helps give me like a third hand, especially when you've got arthritic fingers. And then I'm gonna remove the paper backings to these double-sided pieces of foam tape with that paper piercing tool attachment. Now this is gonna go right underneath here like so. And then we are gonna add some embellishments to this. This is gonna be where you can sign. Now I'm gonna put this off to the side for just a minute and I wanna to talk to you about the construction because you may wanna do what I did the first time and think, oh, I've got a better way. <laughs> I've tried it numerous ways and I'm gonna teach you the easiest. This is going to get sandwiched between the accordions. So just so that you are aware, this one is gonna go here and this one is gonna go here. So it's gonna end up being like this. Don't think you're gonna add adhesive it here or adhesive here and be able to sandwich this just right. That was not good. So let me show you what I did. I am gonna open this up on my silicone craft sheet and I'm gonna add two strips of adhesive on each side. So I'm gonna put one here and I'm gonna do another one right next to it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now, the only thing I'm gonna caution you on because I've done it myself is just be cognizant that you've got it faced the right way. Now, we are gonna open this up so that it's virtually flat. You want to be looking right here on this crease line. We're gonna take this, and remember, this is going to be the front, so it's gonna be on the left-hand side. This is going to be an interior panel. What you are looking to do is you are looking to take this and you are going to center it between here and here, here and here, just visual. I don't measure anything, it's too much work. You're looking at that score line to match it up with this crease. And again, if you hover right over it like I'm doing, it's not difficult. So again, I'm looking here, looking at the top and bottom just to try to make it as straight as possible. None of us are perfect. And once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna tack it down and I'm gonna tack it down. Now here comes the best part. All you have to do is pick it up and then watch. It just collapses and expands all on its own. Now here comes the best part is about where you're going to put the greeting. And this is going to be hidden. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some adhesive to the back side here. My Stampin' Seal Plus is super duper strong so I don't have to add it everywhere. Now my best tip for you is to do this. Sandwich up your accordion and you are going to hover this in the center. I'm gonna gauge a little bit further left than I am right because I wanna make sure that if I'm off a little bit, it's not gonna show. And I'm looking because I know that if I close this and I don't see any white, I'm in good shape, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place that down here. Before I press it too far, I'm gonna close and make sure and it works out perfectly. Now here come the embellishments. I absolutely love these. They're called rustic metallic dots and they do have glue dots already on the back, which is gonna make them super easy to use. Because there's glue dots on the back, there's no fussing with another product. I'm gonna use that take your pick tool attachment. I love this thing, can't live without it. This is interchangeable. That putty tip makes my life super easy. There are numerous sizes, so I'm gonna go with the larger of the two. And I am going to take this very first one and let's go ahead and put it right there in that middle of that bow tie. This gives us a little bit of a rustic feel. And then I'm gonna add several more. I'm gonna close up the card. I am looking to add them here. And I'm gonna do one more. And let's add the other one here. And I love these because I don't think you can see them or not, but they're little tools, which is so perfect for Bob the Builder. So we've got little hammers and little wrenches. And again, with the die cut pieces, there is no limit to the theme of cards that you can create. And the stamps are fantastic. So here is the expandable accordion Father's Day card. Super simple, isn't it? Great way to use up your designer papers. Now, as I told you, this had a Father's Day theme but I have several others that don't. So let me share those with you. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one off to the side. We'll bring that one back in. This one is using the stamp set called Sending Smiles. Isn't this pretty? Beautiful, beautiful, because you know, I told you I like the girly things. Again, look at that designer series paper. 
I'm going to open this up and you're going to be able to see the panels on this one. Very, very simple. Sometimes we just need a card just to say, hi, what's new? What's going on? How are you doing? If this is not a big enough area for you, keep in mind, you can add a panel back here if you need to write a message. I think it's striking and really a beautiful set. All right. The next one is called Rainbow of Happiness. Oh, this is a happy card. So if you have someone you need to cheer up or someone you want to thank, this one is perfect. These designer series papers are so versatile. This comes from Butterfly Kisses. That's the name of the designer series papers. Look at the colors. And then here's your expansion. Keep in mind, mixing and matching with designer series papers is really, really fun. The bad news about this stamp set, <laughs> it's on the last chance products list. That means it's only available until June 30th and then it's retired. So you're going to want to head over to my website and click on shop for the last chance products. A lot of them are marked down, some of them up to 50% off. So you're not going to want to miss those. Now, this last card that I have for you is not part of the project sheet because I always practice before we're live. And this is the stamp set I decided to use. This is called Cheerful Basket. It's in the annual catalog. I love rustic things. I just think they're so fun. So I decided to make a card with these, but I have to show you the dies are so abundant. You can build the little bucket itself with just the dies, or you can stamp and die cut it out. Lots of fun. So here is the card that I made with those apples. And there's your panel sending you some get well cheer with some apples. You know, they say apple all day keeps the doctor away, right? So that's kind of where I went with this one. So this one is an exclusive for the live. And then of course we have these three that I shared with you for different ideas. Now, I would love it if you would do me a favor right now, if you would go down into the comments and let me know which one is your favorite. And don't forget to download the project sheet. I cannot tell you how important it is if you leave a comment and you give me a thumbs up here on YouTube if you have enjoyed the video. It scores big with YouTube, which helps my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do, please do so hit that subscribe button and the little bell that's next to it and the word all, because then YouTube is going to send you reminders and you're going to want those because I'm going to come back live with you next week and I'm going to give you the date in just a second. Head over to my website. Like I said, the catalogs are there. I also have a very vast PDF tutorial library, but scroll all the way to the bottom, which is where the golden part is. You're going to see the word subscribe at the bottom of my website. And if you subscribe, I'm going to add you to my free weekly e-newsletter where I provide a PDF tutorial project not shared on any of my other platforms. And I would love to include you. It's a no frills thing. It comes right to your inbox. You can print it. You can save it. Lots of great projects there for you to try. Also, mark your calendar because we are coming back to you live on Monday of next week. I had a look at my calendar. It's June 20th already. And I hope that you will be here with me. I'm going to have to scroll through that party with the stamp studio reminder one more time before we go. And I just want to thank you all for being here. Gina, thanks so much for your hard work and moderating tonight. And I'll see you guys all with me next Monday. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Bye-bye.